Look who it is. Starting to start to lift up as she lifts her chin just for three. Good morning everyone. It is quarter past six in the morning and today I'm going to do a vlog of what's on my plate because I know you guys have been really wanting that. Um, and also I'm going to take Taj for his very first haircut. I'm so excited. Um, it won't be too long. So I know that there's people on here that don't have kids and might not find that interesting. But for me, it's a big moment as a mum and it's going to be super cute if he behaves. But if you don't like that, you'll love all the food that I'm going to pop on here. So I'm going to show you everything that I consumed today. Um, tonight, Steve and I have to go to Brisbane because we're going to a course. If his back is better, actually, he's hurt his back at tennis on Monday night. Um, so we'll be eating out. So I'll show you how I eat healthy when I'm out as well. So if you want to see what a day in the plate of Ashley Pines, keep watching. So this morning I'm off to the gym. Um, so Taj is still asleep. So I'm going to have my 500 mils of hot lemon water. And then I'm going to have for pre-workout a banana. Banana and coffee I think today. Um, P.S. How cool is this lemon squeezy thing? You pop half a lemon and you squeeze it down. It's so good. And then I'm going to have a protein shake straight after my training. So I'm obsessed with Happy Way vanilla today. I think that's my favorite. Although I do love mixing the vanilla and the coffee together. Look who it is. Good morning. Oh, your navy matches your navy car. <laughs> Soon to go car. car. See you later car. She's Happy literally car. getting a new car in a couple okay. of weeks. Yes, it's, it's time for an upgrade. To go to sleep, I'm I so think. proud of you for upgrading. You've worked so hard to get yourself a new car. Thank you. Saved hard. I'm very proud Thank of you. you. Thank you. Very exciting. Thank you with your cute little plum. I oh, know, I got my plum on today. I was going to wear my squad top too. Where are you now? I should have. We could have been twins. But I was on fleek, you know, so I had to wear my hoodie on fleek. Hoodie on fleek. Hi. How are you going? Oh, hello. How are you? <laughs> cute. All right, we're going to just smash it. I'm so not. I'm still sick. I feel like we I'm shouldn't feeling... do our heavy session. Oh my God, I feel like that too. Yeah, okay. I'm saying something to neck like. Yeah. I'm just so I just feel like we're not going to put 100% in, so maybe we shouldn't. We'll still work out, but not do like a heavy, heavy. Yeah, I just feel like I'm really sore and <laughs> I don't want to do heavy today. Yeah, okay, it's done. It's decided. We can see. Oh, there he is in there. Let's have a look. The culprit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So today you are on my vlog. Hey everyone. Do you want to tell us a little spiel about yourself? I'm Greg and I've been around forever. So if you forever. Me, it's about time. <laughs> um, I met Ashley a few years ago and I actually met her um, at a yoga studio that I was working at and she was my favorite student and we've been uh, doing yoga together since then and I'm also um, her acupuncturist as well. Yes, and I love acupuncture and I love yoga. I am a little bit inconsistent with my yoga, 
but we're here today. Greg will put me in a couple of poses that are really focused on hormone balancing as my hormones are a little bit out at the moment because I'm super stressed. And Greg actually messaged me the other day saying we should film some yoga for my YouTube mm. channel. So if you guys watching are keen for some easy ones that you could, easy yoga sessions that you can just do at home, comment below or jump over to our Instagrams. I'll put um, Greg's Instagram up here too and let us know if you would enjoy that so we know that it's worthwhile our time um, filming it for you guys. But here we go, Zen time. So we are working into Ashi's thighs. This isn't exactly a yoga pose. It's more just a stretch that opens up through the stomach meridian. And this is also good for your digestive system. So Ashi's gonna take a breath into her lower belly and gently kick into her right foot. And then she'll feel her left arm start to lift up as she lifts her chin just for three and two. And then as she comes out, she's gonna lengthen her right leg and take her left hand back down to the floor and then let her right knee come to the floor. And then we'll do the other side. So we're working into pigeon stretch. Um, pigeon pose is a really common pose that we do in yoga and it's fantastic because it opens up through the buttocks. Now she's looking good in her toned. Fantastic for lower back pain, sciatica, just tension, particularly in the legs. If your knee's a little bit sore, then you wanna keep the foot a little bit more closed. If you're open through your hips, you can bring that right foot a little bit further forward. And you wanna focus on breathing into the rib cage. So we'll just watch Ashley do a nice deep breath into her rib cage as it expands. And then as she exhales, she'll soften into that right body and let her head and neck relax. So we've done a couple of um, slow poses this morning and slow stretches. As Ashley mentioned before, you can actually do yoga to help with hormone balancing. And it's because yoga helps to relax your nervous system. So when that adrenaline drops out of your body, then your hormones tend to become a lot more regular. So you can see Ashley's lying on her back just quickly and her knees are squeezing into her chest. This is great for your lower back. It's also good for your digestive organs because the thighs are squeezing into the large intestine. So good to get that bowel motility. Just to finish off, Ashley's gonna slowly roll to the right and the left a little bit, making sure that her neck is soft, her eyes are closed, massaging into the ascending and descending colon. But as always, just working with her breath, breathing nice and slowly. You can see that her face is so relaxed after our class this morning, which is nice here at the TC. And then keeping her eyes closed, she's gonna relax her hands down by her sides with her palms facing up and let her legs go nice and long. And at the end of any yoga class, it doesn't matter if it's five minutes or an hour, it's really important that you take a couple of minutes just to be still. It doesn't matter if your mind is busy, doesn't matter if your body feels a little bit tight, but just giving your body time to breathe slowly is so important because this is when our body heals, when we have that beautiful fresh oxygenated blood flowing through our muscles. So I ordered Taji some new shoes. I got him these little Adidas ones and these Stan Smith, which match mine. He did have a pair of these, but he grew out of them. They're only 70 bucks, so pretty cool. And I got him a tracksuit as well, but I'm about to get onto my next meal. I just bought one of these from my gym. It's called Food Club Meals. But the Moroccan roast chicken, you can see it's got 395 calories, protein 45 grams, carbs 21, fats 15, all the ingredients, all natural. It's chicken, a bit of mint yogurt. I don't really eat a lot of yogurt to be honest, but so good. So you can buy these at the Transformation Center or you can order online. They're really nice cold, but because I am at home, I'm about to leave um, to take that one, for his first haircut. He's playing with one of my makeup brushes. Please don't ruin that, Bubba but I'm gonna heat this up in the pan before we go. What have you got? Hey. Oh, oh, thank you. So that's what it looks like all put in there. I'm just gonna put my um, stove top on, just a medium heat and just heat it up. The cool thing about it too is the sauces, they come like this, so I don't actually have to have that, which I won't, um, because it doesn't really need it. It's got like the sweet potato and the veggies. I feel like it's got enough flavor. If anything, I would put like a bit of coconut aminos in there, but you can even see on the chicken, it's got like the Moroccan flavoring. But yeah, I'll put in the description box how you guys can get some of these meals, Gold Coast and Brisbane. Honestly, so good. Loving my fridge right now. I've got Taja's pre-prepped um, food at the top. 
loads of vegetables and containers. How are these carrots? These are all from our veggie garden. I'm so stoked. We've got chopped kale, snow peas, more carrots. I bought those from Coles and Woolies actually. That's pumpkin and carrot um, spirals, but I'm just going to get my spinach you guys know i'm all about that green light any chance like i can add some extra greens into my food i do so just at the bottom of this meal it's very hard to do with one hand i'm going to put just a bit of spinach get some more greens wow one-handed let's see how we go oh yeah so good so much flavor so I've done my protein shake. Well, before I did my banana, my coffee for pre-workout, I had protein shake post-workout and before yoga. I've already had a liter of water. Now this is my lunch, which contains capsicum, chicken, sweet potato mash, spinach, onion, and a little bit of cabbage. So I am about to make the car caramel almond dough. You're all right. How'd you get? So we need our coconut oil, rice melt syrup, and almond butter. And why Taj has his first haircut, I'm gonna give him one of these so that he's occupied and not scared because it might be a little bit scary with his first haircut. Obsessed. The only thing with making these is that me and Nat pretty much eat the whole packet in one day. We do not advise to do that, but they're so good. What's the matter? Was that your jet ski? Yeah. So this is the hair salon that we're taking Taj to. Next hair salon and his hairdresser today is Mitch. Yay, Amelia's partner. So I reckon he's gonna be awesome with Taj. Just whether Taj will be scared or not. My mum reckons that we were scared when we were little, so I'm preparing that he may not like it, but we'll see how we go. Oh, this pretty hair. It's not all gonna go, but it's definitely getting a bit mullety. So beautiful though. We're just waiting for my mum. She wants to come down and watch it. Got Auntie Jo as well. He's just having a drive of the car. Not really, we're just stopped, but You're having fun, aren't you, mate? Hello. Oh, I love the flannel. I know. How are you? Good to see you. Kiss for Grammy. Kiss. <laughs> what I can do, I can put a cake on you and a cake on here, but okay. I can do it that way, yeah? Okay, cool. <laughs> He's like, what is this? Yeah. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to sit on there? Oh. All right. I've had lots of practice with all the kids. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's so hard. <laughs> 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 How did we go, Mitch? We got there in the We end. got there, was it a bit hard? It wasn't hard, he just, he wasn't the biggest fan. No, maybe the next time, hey? <laughs> Might be the beard. Maybe you have oh, to chop the new, beard. That's a new addition for me. Oh. Maybe. You did well. 
<laughs> Darling, you look so cute. You did good, Bubba. Okay, so the first haircut. <laughs> What do we think, Joe? <laughs> he did very well, Mummy. Mm, he very cried. Brave. He wasn't that keen on it, but he had moments where he was okay. But we got through, and Mitch was just amazing. So it's called Next International. We went to, to the Pacific Pine store, but they have three hair salons around the Gold Coast. But Mitch is really experienced in little kids. So if you have little kids on the Gold Coast that need their hair cut, highly recommend going to him. I will put um, their details here for you guys. But I'm going to go and hang out with my mum now. So, all the girls having a girls' day with little Taji. And he's looking pretty handsome. He looks very day. handsome. So, yeah, we're going to drive up to my mum's house because she only lives down the corner and spend a couple of hours with my mum, which will be nice. All right, guys, we'll check in with you in my next meal. Snack time. So, I'm on to my lunch. My day isn't, like, timed for meals. It's just kind of been spread out since I started my day. It's now 1.03, so this is my lunch. So today I'm just going, I've got some organic um, hormone free chicken breast I'm gonna chop up. You guys know, as I said this morning, all about that green life. So whenever I can get as many greens as I can, I do. So I'm just gonna have a plate of spinach and this is fresh lettuce from our garden. I'm going to pan fry some red onion, sweet potato, two stigs of broccolini and add in some raw carrot and snow peas. To marinate my chicken, I'm gonna add a capful of coconut oil and then some of this New Life Coconuts Sweet Chili Aminos. They've got the barbecue flavor, sweet chili and teriyaki. They all kind of taste similar, but they're so good. My dressing on the top is gonna to be apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is not something that I can shot. I just, it makes me gag. Any brand of apple cider vinegar, most of it's organic and just that's all that should be in it. And I've got some sunflower seeds to pop on top. I think I'll cook these two first together as they can take a little bit longer. With my sweet potato, I just chop it up quite thin. I've got my camera sitting on like a box thing, that's why you can't see my face. So I just put my pan on a low to medium heat and I've got no oil in there yet. I'm just gonna get it all heated up. Pop my sweet potato in there as that takes the longest. And then once that's getting a little bit cooked, then I'll add in the coconut aminos, coconut oil, the onion, and also my chicken. I find that when you're adding the coconut oil and the coconut aminos, Plus, dicing up your chicken in really small bits stops it from going dry. If you chuck really thick, large pieces into a pan, I just find that it just cooks on the outside and not on the inside, and you have to cook it for longer, and then it goes dry and burnt. Super excited to be using um, lettuce from my own garden, knowing that there's no yucky sprays on there, and it's just fresh, and you just, you just appreciate it a little bit more. So I'm just gonna add in a couple of those leaves and just break them up. A nice green base. I'm gonna chop up my broccolini. Got a clean knife for my chicken, don't worry. Shredded carrot, and this is just simmering away. Chicken's cooking nicely, and that marinade's really soaking into my sweet potato, chicken, and onion.
No. Huh. 51 Street? 51st Street. Oh, 51st Street. <laughs> Blonde. Looks like it has a nice big menu, so hopefully I can find something semi-healthy. So I can already see sweet potato chips. Delicious. You can get these bowls. That looks like could be cool. But it is a place that sells ribs. Anyone that knows me, no, oh, they're beef ribs. I don't really like beef ribs. Pork's the best. Pork's the best, not beef. So Steve and I are in Brisbane tonight. We have a three hour course. Um, it's a guy that Steve and I have followed for a little while and he actually reached out and wanted to see if I'd be interested in doing some co collaboration work with him, which I'm really keen for because I really, really like his videos. I'm very inspired by them. I've learned a lot from them and I just like the way he delivers his message. Um, I won't share who he is just yet. I'll wait and see his vibe tonight. I like any products, any person, any brand. I always like to check out myself, feel their vibe, make sure that I really connect with everything they're saying especially face to face if I'm going to work with someone. Um, so I'm excited to learn and just have something to spice up my inspiration. Sometimes you can get a bit stale. Um, but tonight I'm ordering a pulled pork street bowl. It's got pulled pork, apple and fennel slaw, pickles, house slaw salad, brown rice and quinoa mix with a house barbecue sauce. It's probably one of the healthiest options on here. Um, but you guys know, when I go and eat out, I'm not super anal. If I can find a healthier option, I will always do that. Um, but I don't get upset with myself and feel guilty if I don't find something that's just all green. It's just not how I want to live my life. I like being balanced. If I wanted abs, then I couldn't live like this. <laughs> but I like living balanced and just enjoying when I do go out. Um, otherwise, I eat at home most of the time anyway. So I'll show you guys what it looks like as soon as it comes. video i hope you enjoyed it if you did i'd really appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the big red subscribe button i will be uploading one to two videos a week and i definitely want to do more of the a day on the plate if you enjoyed it obviously let me know below and let me know any other suggest suggestions that you would like me to do you can post it below or on my instagram but thanks for watching bye